He's certainly not changing Terry Stockman, but he's bringing to the forefront through the media questions that Catholics are asking, but are not really asked too much by anybody other than the laity publicly. The Pope recently did an extensive interview on a wide range of controversial topics. So I sought out some of the pastors of our diocese to find out what he meant. Father Danny Murphy at St. Savior said that this is just a pastor's concern for his church. Father James Cunningham at Holy Name Church agrees. I think that what he's trying to do is to uh, emphasize the message of, of teaching the church doctrine with a compassionate heart, just as Christ would. One of the controversial issues brought up in the interview was the idea of civil unions. And the Pope said we need to look at individual cases and evaluate them. So I wanted to know, does this mean the church will accept civil unions like that between people of the same sex? Marriage is between a man and a woman. And the Pope, I think, said that first. I mean, that was the first thing he said. So marriage is between a man and a woman. That's the theology of the Catholic Church. However, civil unions Let's see it, where they might possibly be beneficial to those who are involved in such a, a civil union. When asked about the sex abuse scandals, Pope Francis says they were horrible and left deep wounds. But, he says, the church has done a lot to combat it, more than any other institution. The media at times portrays us as still covering up and transferring problem to another parish rather than addressing it. That is not true. That is not true. It may have been true, God forgive us, but it's not been true in at least 14 years. Humanae Vitae is a church document that outlawed birth control. When asked about it, Pope Francis said he wasn't changing church doctrine, but wanted to look into more of what it was possible for people to do. Since Humanae Vitae was, uh, was written, Catholics all over the world have been struggling. Uh, many Catholics, I think, uh, unfortunately, have, have just ignored the teaching of the church. But there are many that are still very faithful and who struggle and want to do what's right. If so many Catholics are not following Humanae Vitae, maybe we could look at Humanae Vitae, not throw it out the window, but let's see what we could look at it. Let's reopen the discussion, which would be the first time in almost 50 years that that discussion would be reopened. Both pastors agree that the Holy Father's focus on mercy and meeting people where they're at will help invigorate the church and encourage people to continue practicing our faith. Reporting for Currents, I'm Katie Breidenbaugh.